moving on from that. Um, the uh, transitions are always difficult, by the way. I don't know how any host can do. I mean, that, it's just it's just great that you guys that you guys do that. So you've heard headlines over the last two years just about jobs in general, keeping talent. Who knows where all these people are going? Lots of job openings, lots of unemployment left and right. You've seen your own um, in the business where it's been challenging at times and a little bit better at other times. What are some of the things that you've done to retain some of that talent? And, and what do you think all these people, where, where are all these people working where, with all this unemployment available? It's, it's wild. It's hard. It's, um, you know, it's, it's hard to sell this as, you know, it's, it's not a sexy job, right? It's not, it's hard work. It's labor. Um, it, it's hard to sell this, this job. It's hard to, to attract people. So you have to, you have to differentiate yourself. Um, and, and I, I like to think we differentiate ourselves. Um, you know, again, Zach, you've had, you've had my staff come to your house. We're not your typical cleaning service, right? I mean, they're, they're happy. They, they have good attitudes. They, they are outgoing customer service is, is a focus of ours. Um, you know, I, I've, I've got good habits. I got bad habits from corporate America. One of the good habits is, is core values, right? So, so we've got core values and, and we bang our decisions against it and we hold people accountable to them. Um, one of our core values is have fun. It's actually our first core value, right? So have fun. We want people to go to people's houses, you know, leave notes on their chalkboards, on their whiteboards, set up the, the kids, um, stuffed animals on the bed, maybe like a toy story, you know, kind of setting where the big bears reading to the little bears, um, have fun, do, do fun stuff, sing, dance in people's houses. It's okay. You know, we, we tell people to bring their true self to work. Um, I feel like I was locked in a cage for 20 something years, um, in corporate America. I couldn't behave the way that I wanted to, um, come to work and, you know, as long as your behavior is appropriate, you're, you're, you're good to go. So we tell people have fun. Um, another one of our core values is, you know, make mama proud, do the, do the right thing, you know, make sure people notice that you're there, that you've done something for them and you did it because it's the right thing to do. Um, and then talk about it. Communication is a huge, huge thing here. We, I pay for an, an app that is anonymous, but we blast out, you know, questions to our, our staff, like, what can we do to make your job better? What's the one thing you would change if you could, or what do you like about your job? What would you, you know, have us, you know, do differently? We send those out and it's anonymous and it comes to a, it comes to me and we read it. And, and so from a leadership perspective, I don't have to shoot from the hip, right? If 10 people say, Hey, we need to change this. We're probably going to look into changing that. Right. So communication is huge. Um, and then the last thing is work as a team. You know, I don't want one of my teams back at one o'clock and then another team back at seven. Work as a team. Let's communicate. And we have an app that we all communicate on. So if we see somebody's running behind, hey, who can who's in the area that can go and help this team? And while we we monitor that based on, on where people are, we know where they are. Um, you know, we're gonna help people out. So and then we do quarterly celebrations, right? Like on me, we're gonna go and do something, right? We've gone to Top Golf, we've gone out for pizza and beer, we've had cookouts at my house, I've had you know Halloween parties at my house, we've done um pumpkin carving in the office we've done gingerbread house contests in the office like we have fun it's hard work you know it's got to be recognized and and i appreciate what they do and that's just one of the ways that we can do it. i cook breakfast or i bring in breakfast every friday morning here it's and it's just what we've been doing since day one well that's um, one of the things i'm um, you know sorry zach is that uh i mean you're right i mean it's not a sexy business but somehow you have found a way to, to make it a whole lot more sexy than what it is in the sense of taking care of customers, taking care of staff, uh, you know, so kudos to you. I mean, it's just, um, you know, keep on innovating and, and trying new things. That's awesome. What um, song did you want to sing when you're um, cleaning? Me? Yeah, I mean, you said you were locked up, cooped up for 20-something years, and then you let your teammates come in and, and, and sing while they're cleaning. Like, what, what song would you want to sing? I'm a deadhead, so nothing you want to hear. I'm not even sure. You know, it's all just one song. It's just really long. Like my wife says, oh, my God, it's the same song. <laughs> Is that like the fish heads people? Like, yeah. yeah it's, it's, heads, the fish. Mm -hmm. uh, when I hear what you just said about keeping talent and, and stuff like that, it's like be a human. Yeah. Be a human. Yeah, it's it's, you know, and, and we deal with a, uh, you know, a certain demographic, you know, that 
that we have in this industry. And listen, they, they need somebody to help them out. They need somebody to listen. Um, they need somebody to be flexible, empathetic. Um, but I'm not a fool, right? You know, I, I'm, I'm going to help you out. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to listen to you and do what I can to help. Um, but here's the trade off, right? And, and I'll tell people this all the time. I will bend over backwards to help you do whatever you want. If you want a different job, great. Let's talk about it. You know, who, what do you want to be when you grow up? I belong to a lot of fantastic business organizations. I know a lot of great people. I could put you in front of some fantastic people that might give you a shot, right? So tell me what you want to be when you grow up. Give me the opportunity to help you. I've sat down here, you know, on Saturdays helping people with resumes. We've done mock interviews. Um, and, and I'll do that. We had, you know, one of, one of uh, my EO partners in here um, Friday, that's this past week. Um, credit counselor, right? So, hey, here's how you get your credit right. You know, here's what you should be doing. Here's what you should be looking at. So I'm going to provide them with an education. I'm going to provide them with whatever resource they ask for. Here's the trade-off. Come to work. Work hard. Treat my customers right. Treat yourself right. Be responsive. You know, be accountable. I've got all the time in the world for you. You know, it's, it's, it's easy for me. Um, and for a lot of folks, they haven't been afforded that, you know, in the past. Why not? You know, so so the expectation is that he's my boss or, you know, he's the owner. He'll never do these things. So when we start actually living up to those things and, and, and people are like, wait a second. So so maybe he is honest. Yeah. And then they see people take advantage of those programs that we put together and they see those people do well and get out of debt and increase their credit scores and stuff like that. Wait a second. It can work. Yeah. But you got to put in the effort. Right. So um, so we do that. And I don't you know, and we do it because it's the right thing to do. It's awesome. Super cool. That's it. Good job, Lee. We like, do exactly yeah. what it says. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, to think that it's just how great everything was going, first appearance, now second appearance, you know, looking forward to, uh, you know, the next, the next appearance to see how things go. When you have, let me know when you uh, open up on the peninsula because uh, I'm not a customer because I am on the peninsula. I was the guy voting for you on uh, the, the co <laughs> You were the co one. Award. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and I mean, I think you walk your your talk, right? A lot of people will say very similar things to what you just said, right? But the couple of times I've been to your office, one of the times you were doing something just like that with like a banking professional coming in, teaching yeah teaching the staff, your teammates, hey, here's how to handle this type of thing. I've seen stuff on your Facebook where you're like, hey, I've got a, I've got a teammate that's looking to rent a house or, or uh, you know, an apartment in this kind of thing. Like you see it happen, right? And so it's, it's clear to me that you aren't just, you know, pulling someone's chain. You are acting on the things that you say you are. And I appreciate that. And I respect that where I think a lot of people will just be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to do those things. And then they never actually happen. And then their teammates are like, yo, bro, like I thought you were about this lifestyle, but you're clearly not. And so kudos to you for, for doing that. And we look forward to having you on, uh, let's, let's see, this is 70 episodes. So like uh, episode 160 something. Tim, does that, is that, is that math work? That sounds great. We'll book it. We'll keep pace with that. Yeah. Don't, don't ask me for that math on how many days from now that is though. We get it on the calendar. Yeah. Get it on the calendar. There you go. Lee, appreciate it. You guys can uh, check them out to maids and slash Virginia dash beach. Till next yeah, time. If you like, if you like what you've heard, subscribe to us Always on good talking, uh, YouTube. Guys. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, download us on all your favorite podcast platforms. And uh, we'll keep on trying to uh, push out great shows like this. And if there's anyone that you would like to see on the show, uh, let us know. And we'll, we'll do what we can to, to get them as a guest. Until next time, peace. So long. Are Thanks, you stuck at your home office, socially distanced coffee shop? or your fancy all bricked out corner office wondering why no one can see your business and sales are all over the place? Sounds like you need a pro. That's why I developed the Anomaly Academy. Insert clever copy here. Oh, I guess I was supposed to put something else there. Oops. You can grab access to the Anomaly Academy now at zachmillersays.com slash anomalyacademy.